This is the big announcement. But first, let me give the backstory. I've been staying here in Tiruvannamalai for the last five years. It'll be five years on the 2nd of December, just a few, just a month away. So, just today, I got very clear intuition that Arunachala has blessed me with the highest realizations. My sadhana is complete and it's time for me to go out and teach. And this realization has been coming actually over the last six months or so. But I've been resisting it because I really want to stay here. <laughs> I like this place. Uh, my original plan when starting this video channel almost 10 years ago was that I would sit in a holy place, in a sacred place, and people would come to me from all over the world, just like they did back in 2005 and 2006 when I was teaching Vaishnavism. But it hasn't worked out that way. And I think I understand why. If I was to narrow down my teaching to just one particular flavor of spirituality, like karma yoga, bhakti yoga, meditation, you know, or whatever, but just stick within that narrow range, people would find it a lot easier to approach my teaching. But the fact is, the esoteric teaching includes everything. It covers everything to do with spiritual life, puts it in its proper order and relationship to everything else. So, for especially for a new person coming, just to the first time to esoteric culture, and spiritual life. This is overwhelming. And so while they might get something out of the individual videos that relate to their specific areas of interest, to grok the whole thing, you know, the whole enchilada, it's just too much. So that's the reason people aren't coming to me, I think. You let me know in the comments if I hit the nail on the head or if I am totally off base, okay? <laughs> to use some good old American metaphors. So the writing is on the wall. It's time for me to leave. The government is telling me to leave and I got it confirmed with both of the oracles that I use, both the I Ching and the Arunachala oracle which I'll put, I'll buy, by the way, I'll put the link in the video description so you can see it too. And this is the first time, one of the very few times maybe, that both of these oracles agree that to leave India and go to the West and teach is the right thing to do. Now, that's the main point. I'm coming to the West I'm going to start teaching. Everything else is a detail. So let's look into some of the more important details. <laughs> Where am I going to come? I don't know exactly, but probably somewhere in Europe. Because actually all the electronic equipment I've got is 220 volts. So Although I could go back to the U.S. or Mexico, I have friends there too. I'd have to rearrange everything, you know, all the gear that I use for production and so on. 
Whereas in Europe, everything I have will just plug and play. Another thing is that Europeans are more civilized. I'm sorry, Yankees. <laughs> Europeans are just more civilized and developed as human beings, intellectually, spiritually, emotionally. And they are prepared to discuss things. Whereas in America, it's like either you get it or you don't, you know. Um, so America would be a harder nut to crack in the sense that to build any kind of teaching uh, there, uh, I'd have to find just the right people and it would be really hard. Whereas in Europe, I can present at different levels and there will be people who will get it on whatever level they're at. So, okay, I'd like to come to Europe and all I need is one friend who will host me for the first two or three months until I get, you know, get established, get a practice going, get my feet on the ground and so on. I have a little bit of savings, a few thousand euro, but it's enough to get to Europe and, you know, cover my expenses for a little while. And of course, I have my monthly pension income, about 800 euro. And then whatever I can make, I can teach so many things. Mobile music production, uh, digital graphics, so many things I can teach just for money, you know, just to get started. But really, I want to have a little yoga center and teach not just Hatha Yoga. In fact, I put very little stress on Hatha Yoga. And mainly to teach all the higher yogas. So what I need from you is if you are willing to host me for at least a month, because I can't travel too much, I don't have that much money saved up, then get in touch with me and let's start planning. I'm looking at like February or March of next year. I have to wind up my affairs here in India, sell a bunch of stuff that I've accumulated and uh, prepare myself, you know, physically and mentally for re-entry back into the West. There's always a culture shock. Uh, Things go so much faster in the West. And people are so much more fallen. There's too much meat eating and so on, you know. So I'm going to need some time to adjust. But after that, I should be fine and have my own place and so on like that. So here's my email. And even better than email is Signal Messenger. Here's my ID on Signal. You can contact me directly. That's really the best way. I'll also put that information in the video description. And you can email me or message me. Let's chat about it. Okay, you have all the videos here. You have the whole teaching here. But what you need is somebody to fire you up. Uh, somebody who is present in your life somebody who's willing to hear you and get where you're coming from and then give appropriate instructions. I thought people would be able to do that kind of thing through YouTube comments, but it hasn't really happened that way. So I can see I need more physical presence for people to relate to. Darn dogs. <laughs> Anyway, dogs will bark, but the king's caravan will pass. Aung Tatsat. Aung Shatihi Aung.